This goes back to when Lady May and me were still flying commercial. Never again. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> First Lady says, never again. Thank you, Jesus. And this man sees me pouring over my Bible. I was getting ready for my sermon on Sunday. And he grunts at me, sipping on his wine. Say, are you one of them Bible bangers? I said, well, what's a Bible banger? He said, you know, one of those people that bangs people on the head with their Bible. And this made me so sad to think that's what the Bible is to some people. Something they think someone's going to be beating on them with, beating them on the head. Now, imagine that you were born in a real small town. And on the first day of kindergarten, you're standing on the milk line. And the little kid next to you in line says hi and starts talking to you. And it turns out that he likes the same cartoons as you. The same flavor ice cream. Same video games. It's like you two were made for each other. So you start to go to each other's houses after school. You become friends. Best friends. And then when it comes time to graduate from high school, now you have, to, you have to stay in town because of a family business. And your friend goes off to college and then gets a job on the other side of the world. But you keep in touch. You email each other once a week or so. And at the end of every email, you say, I love you. I miss you. Please come home. After many years of this, one day you get an email from your friend. He says, I have, I have some business going to take me through your area, and I was wondering if I could see you. So on the day your friend is coming to visit, you drive three hours to the big airport, and you stand there outside security by the baggage claim, and you wait. And all these people are coming through the doors, and you think, well, maybe there's a problem. Maybe I got the date wrong, but then way back at the back of this river of people, you see your friend. And oh, how your heart feels. You see, the Bible is not a rule book. The Bible is not a bunch of myths. It's not even a work of literature. And it certainly isn't something to be banging people over their heads with. The Bible, praise God. It's like a bunch of emails from the best friend you ever had saying, I love you. I miss you. Please come home. And my lips are free. In the darkness, I remember Mama's words. Now, I don't know who I'm preaching to today. Maybe I'm preaching to myself. But if there's anybody out there today who's thinking, I want to come home. I'm so tired of being out there by myself, fighting by myself. I just want to go home and see my friend. Well, I'm here to tell you, come on home. Come down here because Jesus wants to welcome you home. Come on. Come on down here. Come on down here. Come on while there's still time. Come on. Come on down. Come on down here, sir. That's right. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. You know how this prays, TG. Just pray with me, child. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.